Good morning, everybody. It's morning now here in Dubai. I try to create videos in the morning, not in the evening, because it's not good for our health. So I received one email from our friend. He is struggling very much with his, again, with his roof. This is his project. He sent us the elevations of the building, the two, the, the four elevations, the front, the side, and of course the back and the other side. And uh, as you can see, there are two layers of roof here. And on the side, you can see that um, the one that the upper part is smaller, slightly smaller, and then the other is slightly bigger. It's, it has four windows on it. So, okay. And then what he said is he tried to create the first roof using a cutout tool. So this is the image he sent us. He cut the roof and then he tried to add another pitch. But... Um, he said that the problem now is the wall is missing and he wants to make it perfect like walls and roof is really um, created in Dalax Evo. And then he tried another one because he cannot do anything about it. So he tried another one which is this one. He added um, the objects on the roof and tried to cut it because he said that he watched one of my video tutorials and he followed it. Um, that video tutorials is for the chimney, <laughs> not for the dormer. So, yeah, this looks good. It has wall, but the problem now is he's, he cannot put the roof here, the dormer roof. Well, because uh, the, the roof element is not detecting the object. It only detects the walls. So, uh, for you... I will teach you how to do it properly. Actually, I tried it myself, and before doing this um, tutorial, I yeah, I tried it myself, and uh, I finally did it. So let's go and find out how I did it. So to save the time on creating this tutorial, I created the building already. So now we will create the roof. The first thing that he tried is, of course, again, I'm sorry for that because I'm still using Dialux Evo 2 because I still did cannot install the Dialux Evo 6.1. So this is the dormer pitch. And you can see in his design that it's just like a dormer, two layers of dormer. So once we just drag and drop it, it will be look like this. It's, it's, it's okay. It looks same. But the problem now is... How about the other layer here? And um, yeah. <laughs> so we will create a new one. And you cannot insert another roof. If you insert another roof, actually, it, it yeah, it will not show the, the, the wall like what he did in his first design, this one. He cut it and then he insert another um, roof, but the wall is missing. So for you, um, I will teach you how to do it first we will edit the uh, second floor let's go to the second floor and edit this one and let's just remove the roof first I don't want the roof okay let's go and check if the roof is missing okay and then let's go to your second story and edit your um, rooms I'm not sure what is your uh, design in your second floor, but I'm assuming that in that dormer you have a separate room. So I will create rooms for that areas. So uh, that's a surprise. You will you will find out why I, I I will do that. Okay. So this one, right now I'm working on the um, rooms. Nothing fancy. Okay. Okay, let's assume that, okay, let's say there's a hole here, and there's another one here. Then we will create another room, the small size of the dormer here, and of course the bigger on this side. I'm just assuming that this is your uh, second floor because you did not send me your uh, floor plan. So there you go, now I have a big hole here, small here, and too small for the dormer areas. Let's go and check it. See, this is the one. 
And I also assume that the height of your wall is 3.5 because we need an extra space for your sloping roof. So let's go and make it 4 meters. Yeah, okay. So this is your building now. And for now, we will create our first roof. So let's go now to the roof and do our first double pitch roof. So you make, make sure that you are in the second story to do that. And let's uh, draw the roof. Do not put it automatically, please draw it. Okay. Here. Oh, I think it's a wrong orientation. So let's rotate it. And scale. Okay, I'm just assuming if you had the CAD file, it will automatically automatically snap to, oh, what happened? There's an error. Okay, this is, uh, this is EVO 2. I am not so uh, confident with this one because EVO 2 keeps on crashing. So let's try and save it for a while. Yay! Oh my god, I finally installed the Dialux Evo 6.1. Thank you to one of our subscribers, Mr. Matt Paris, for telling me how to do it. So yeah, thank you Mr. Matt. And yeah, it's, it's all about in my system. So yes, I finally did it. Okay, now this is fine. And of course, scale it according to its size. So we created a reference point. And then later, we will follow the same slope. So it will be the same with the other side. And this one, let's go and draw another roof here. And let's do like this. Double check. Why it's always wrong rotation? There you go. So now let's go and adjust and scale it accordingly. So now it's almost done and we are getting closer now to our goal. So let's be... Oh, I'm so excited how it will look like. So let's go and um, continue doing it. So let's scale it and put some gather over there and also there. So I hope you now you can imagine how it will be look like. So let's go and um, check it in the section so you will easily um, recognize it. So the first one, let's make sure we have a, the correct slope. So let's let's make this one as um, Where's the sloping? Roof pitch should be 35. Yes, perfect. And then let's put it down a little. Move it down more, more, more until it touches the edge of this one. So it should be 35 degree pitch. And this one should also be 35. And of course, the other one also 35. And then adjust it, put it down, let's pick it there, and also this one. So now you can see that it has both sloping roof. Okay, and then this one, uh, we will make this one as since the other one, the first one is 35 degree, then we will make this one as maybe as 30 only. So if we go and check how it will look like, all right, then maybe we need to make it 28. Okay, this one is saying that, okay, let's double check. All right, this one is not correct. Need to move it a little here or overlap a little because we need to put a gutter there. Oh, it's not showing the wind, um, it's not showing the, the door. Okay, let's make it as 20 degree and then put it up so you will recognize the dormer. Let's move it up. 
All right. Now, because there's an open here, you can see that there's an open space here and we need to patch it up because otherwise we will not, uh, we cannot close the, our dormer. So let's go and select again the double pitch, which is because this is the only way we can patch this one. Okay, our roof is now looking looking horrible now. <laughs> Look at that. But we are aiming our goal. See, look at this one. You can see now the walls and, of course, the roof edge. But there's some gap here. We, we need to uh, check this one, why there's a hole. Okay, later. But we need to fix this one first. And, um, yeah, let's go to the elevation and fix everything. It doesn't look good. So let's go and select the roof. It really takes time, so be patient with your work. Don't worry, you will get your goals after this. And 35 degree and put it down. Okay, let's check. Now it's getting better now. Aha, exciting! Okay, we still have one problem here, this roof and this hole. Ah, this one, the hole here is fixed uh, because I adjusted the, the roof downward. So, um, for you, my subscriber, now you look, we are seeing hope with your problem. Ah, shit! I did not save it. Oh, no. So, because I'm so stupid, I did not save the file. I created once again, and it's now much perfect. I should have recorded that one. So, this is now the total effect or the total creation of the roof of the dorm or the dormer. Look at this one. So, let's double check. So, now he has, oh, he has also a chimney here. Again, the chimney, you can make it as an object. Yeah. So, we have one roof here, which is, I made it as a sloping as 20 degrees, I think. And this one, I made it as 35 degrees sloping. And you can see there is bedroom, uh, sorry, dormer small here and dormer big here. So, let's double check first this view. And it will be look like this. Oops, let's go to the side front view yes it will look like this yep and then this view with a small window it will be look like this of course I did not add the windows and doors yet and for this one which has three windows it will be look like this with the three windows bigger dormer and this one at the back which, of course, I did not add windows. But you can see now here, the walls and the, the roof are now perfectly placed. So how I did this one? So first, this is a... Uh, which one? This is a single, single pitch roof. This one is also single pitch roof. This one is a double pitch roof. This one is a single pitch roof, and this one is another single pitch roof. In between, the one in my last video, uh, it's open, so I created a double pitch roof also. So you can see here now. So I have four door, uh, four, four roofs. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not four, it's six. Okay. <laughs> so there, there you go. So if you have comments suggestions or i don't know maybe i hope this is right and i hope i solved your problem so i did not um do anything these are all really walls and these are all really uh roof if you can see also in the drawing that there's a gap see this distance from the apex to the upper part of the dormer roof there's a space. That's why I created the same area. It has the space apex and the upper part of the dormer um, roof. Yeah. So if you can see uh, this one, I created as uh, 35 degree uh, roof pitch. And this one is, uh, you can see that the 45 degree 
uh, got eaves here also on the other side i made it the same to so make sure it's also 35 degree and then the 45 and then same with this one and this one i made this as oh no it's not 20 it's 15. so also this one is 15 and make sure if you go and check it here it will be look like this okay so it should be matching in one place and it should be like uh touching each other so yeah <laughs> I'm sorry for the long video because um, it's really like that. Sometimes it's really like that. But we solved it. We did it. So that is for now. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay, goodbye.